everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 3. Hope you all are having an absolutely fantastic day wherever you are at. At the time of recording this, the weather is super nice. I've been having a great day. I actually just got off of a motorcycle ride, so my hair is a little bit swept back and crazy. But what's what's new? What's not crazy on this channel? So I'm really excited to jump back in. Last time we left off, we were doing the Leviathan questline DLC. At the time of starting it, I had no idea that it was even a DLC at all. No conception of it being a DLC. I was just like, oh shit, there's this doctor and there's this like the Leviathan project. But it's super neat that we timed it in accordance with the rest of the game. I didn't like wait to do it till later or whatever. We act we actually just followed up and did it. And now we recruited the Leviathan for our cause, which I think is uh, cash money. So that's where we're at. I'm really excited to play today. I've got my drinky. Guess what's in my cup? Uh, 10 points if you get it right. I don't know what that means. I don't, I don't, we don't have points on this channel. <laughs> I've got my drinky. I'm ready for chaos. I hope you are too. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. So actually, I just finished the Leviathan mission. I'm pretty sure. And I haven't talked to my crew members. Yikes. Ooh, red flag, red flag. So. Yeah, buddy, enthrallment team 400. Mixed species team of special operations soldiers have volunteered to covertly deliver Leviathan artifacts behind enemy lines. These attacks aim to make Reaper creatures thralls of the Leviathans. On a small scale, this could cause chaos and disruption on a large scale. And if given enough time, it could form an army of Reaper creatures dedicated to exterminating their own kind. The team's major lifting, limiting factors are the small number of artifacts and the reluctance of Alliance commanders to operate openly with such potent weapon for fear of the Reapers might develop a countermeasure. Ooh. Yikes. Don't like that. You got Dr. Ann. Bryson. Jovian Dissertation. Gas Giant. Oh, Powerful Magnetic Field. Okay. Radiation Shielding Sheath. Prothean device built in space where inner workings may be vulnerable to cosmic radiation from nearby stars. Dope! Low cost way to keep the device safe against all but most, but the most unusual energetic emissions. Whoa! We're getting there. It's happening. What do you got to say about that, Primark? Yes, Commander. Nothing. That's all. Of course. Man, a few words. I like it. Wrong way. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's gonna be a good one. I can feel it. I don't have a plan. But sometimes that's the best way to go. Something Dutch didn't learn in Red Dead Redemption 2. Good point. Promotion. Now. Commander. Dope. See, I got a lot of slack. I mentioned this last episode, but I got a lot of slack in Mass Effect 2 when people were like, you didn't talk to your crew at every given opportunity. I'm going to reiterate. A lot of times I don't care. That doesn't mean I don't care about the game. That doesn't mean I don't care about the universe. That doesn't mean I'm the worst person ever. I have gotten some funny comments. I will say that like for every 20 positive comments, there's one just like outlandishly stupid one. That's just like, why don't you talk to your crew? You can just not play story games if you don't care about the story. I'm like, I'm playing the story. I don't, these people have said their piece, bro. I would be pissed off. I'm like, why is the fucking commander? I'm just saying if I was in this position, right? And there was like this hierarchy and this is the fucking commander of the vessel. That would come up to you after every single mission and be like, how'd you feel about that? How'd you feel about that? Do you have any commentary? I'd be like, fucking leave me alone. I wouldn't say that because I would get my shit kicked in. But like, I'd be like, dude, let me just work. Can I get a chance to relax? Can you give me a minute? It's annoying. I don't want to check in with everyone every three seconds. But I'm going to check in with them now. <laughs> ooh, ooh. So the Reapers did not fully exterminate their creators. That suggests they are fallible even on large or long-term scales. Commander. Okay. It feels like that rant was for no reason because no one wants to talk to my, <laughs> my ass anyways. No new messages, no bitches. Tough times, man. Boop. 
fishies. <gasps> squeak, squeak. This is kind of a big deal, you know? Leviathan. That's a lot. Feeling okay, Commander? See? People start to question your sanity when you talk to them after every mission. Are you alright? At your service. I can only imagine talking to something so huge. So alien. I hope it helps against the Reapers. Yeah, it was kind of a lot. Did she have anything in here? Definitely a nice suite. Okay. Shepard, I looked over your mission report. Gotta say, it feels like we've been after these Reapers forever. From Sovereign to Leviathan, they've been a pain in the ass the whole time. But at least we're starting to see the big picture. Never really thought we'd get any answers. Doesn't change much, but it does make this war feel a whole lot bigger. Yeah. Yeah. I've already addressed this multiple times, but just the scope of this war, the gravity of what everyone is facing, the casualties, the losses, like, the destruction, it's just... The way they translated it to the computer screen is just... Do you ever think about when we were abducted by... No, I don't. Me neither. Harrowing. All propulsion systems are running optimally. Commander. Need anything, Commander? Carry on. Aye, aye, me. Nope. I wonder if I didn't go through all their dialogue options. I honestly don't remember. Maybe that's why they're not, like, giving me random sidebar commentary. Huh. I don't recall. Should I try it out? Carry on. Oops. All right, we're going to do an experiment. Need anything, Commander? Oh God. Is your family? Happy family. To report that both vessels are. <laughs> the that said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Oh. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. That is very handy. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. For a brick of a ship? What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. <laughs> Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. Not a second. True. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Oh Easier my god. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her. And at time, I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Huh. I don't think I've actually exu exhausted all of these options. How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got time. Problems? Yeah, Could I've seen that one. About respecting chain of command, but I, her. And then she's Always good. Said you had an eye for talent. I, I, man. Commander. Commander. Wow. Okay. Does that mean that I haven't exhausted all of the conversation pieces with the dude guy? 
The, the, the dude guy? Hold on. Can't say I was happy sending you down in that submersible by yourself. Yeah, me neither. I don't know why I ever worry about you. Take on ancient aliens from the deep? Sure, no problem. That's us. So I'm just a big dummy. Oops. Hey, can't all be perfect, you know? Takes a lot of vulnerability to sit here and accidentally fuck up in, pr in front of a lot of people, you know? To admit my mistakes and continue making them. <sighs> the chaos persists, but so do I. With the Leviathan on our side, maybe we pull this thing off after all. Maybe, James. At least Anne's still around to see her dad's work finally pay off. Yeah. Ooch! Hello. Huh. Now, since these are pre-recorded, I'm probably, like, gone by now. I wonder how many people are gonna be mad in the comments. Or if any. About me not finishing the dialogue options with these two. <gasps> There's two kinds of people. People that are gonna not give a shit and not even notice, and then the people that are gonna care way too much. Yes, Commander. Hello, dude guy. I understand this is a difficult- I get that you're busy, but can you help the humans? Paladin, then I give you my word. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away. Reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men. So there's no doubt we fought to the last. I can relate. Yeah, I remember this conversation. Come on, Unit, we find our How are things on Palavan? The How casualty do... reports are staggering. What do you think? The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. My civilization. That's all. Yes, Commander? I can still talk to him. I understand this is a difficult time. If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my... That's all. Huh. So maybe my hypothesis wasn't correct. I don't know, man. Whatever. Damn it! It always wrong door. <gasps> always. <laughs> I always manage to turn myself around like a little rat in a maze. Okay. Commander. Let's heck and get out of here. All right. What do I need to do? Mass relay. Oh, Jesus. Why are they out here? Okay. Um. supposed to go where the reapers are? Let's find out. It sounds like a stupid question, but I don't actually know what this means. Like, this marker? Are they here? Are they gonna be here? Like, what's what's the dealio? I found something. Oh. Karshan, the Batarian homeworld is wrapped less in mystery than in outright lies. Okay. Is this where I need to find the thingy? 
15 billion inhabitants and economy that rivals the Asari, although the legal slave trade does boost the Batarians' profits somewhat, Citadel sanctions have left a paper tiger of an empire, one that fights rivals through deniable terrorist actions rather than the wars of its heyday centuries ago. The Reapers will likely be the death blow to that empire. Almost no information has escaped Karshan since the Reapers destroyed the Kam buoys, but Batarian refugees say that the resistance has created a bond amongst commoners. If the new government can arise from the ashes, the bond may sustain a new Batarian society. Are you eating my cookies? What is this? You just had dinner. Get. I have crumbs on my plate. And he snatched them. Get. Sorry, I'm PvPing my cats. Boop. Oh. Okay. Oh, Pillars of the Strength. We found it. It's what that one guy wanted. Ooh. Ooh. I have no fuel. What happens when you run out of fuel? I guess today is the fucking day, boys. What is this station? Intelligence reports there was one sizable military space station. Whoa! Dicks. Colas! Large rock planet wreathed in a haze of uh, carbon dioxide and xenon discovered by Batarian astronomers in the last century and first visited, visited in 2150s by hegemony survey teams. Small amount of number of commu uh, communists. <gasps> Colonists lived in aerostat habitats above its oppressive cloud layer, harvesting carbon dioxide. No inhabitants can be detected now. It is likely the Reapers eliminated them or the colonists submerged into the scorching atmosphere in an attempt to hide. Yikes. Tough. Boom. Oh, another lost and found. Governor of Growth and Paz? Dude, this is dope. I'm so glad that scanning gives you, like, tangible results. I probably shouldn't go where this marker is, but, you know. Fucking YOLO. Oh my god, I'm out of fuel. We're good. Found it. Recover the Prothean artifact. Okay, sure. Oh, Eden Prime. Fucking Eden Prime, boys. Why are we always going here? Idyllic agrarian world was once for the first one of the first human colonies established beyond the Charon Mass Relay. Eden Prime's fertile biosphere drew heavy immigration from the Systems Alliance and other human organizations. In 2183, Eden Prime was attacked by a Geth force led by the rogue specter Sarah and Artarius. Commander Shepard, responding to the attack, encountered a Prothean beacon that warned of imminent Reaper invasion. It's thanks to this beacon and the commander's quick action, the galaxy has any chance of survival today. Wow, that's not what they said when I discovered it. Who the fuck wrote that in? Me? Council wasn't there for me. <clears throat> I'm not salty. Hashtag not salty. Uh, although the Reapers rushed much, rushed past much, say that ten times fast, of the Exodus Cluster and their plan to take Earth, it is clear the war has come to Eden Prime. Distress signals have jammed all available frequencies. Fires burn in vast swaths across arable land, and its once extensive monorail twi system is twisted metal. Cerberus has much to lose if word of their ruthless attack on the human colony gets out. What they stand to gain must be equally valuable. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Why is she selected? Okay. I feel like I want to take Edie on, like, every single mission. She's gonna have something to say. She's literally a computer. She has so much Google knowledge. James is a human, though. 
I don't know. I just want to take Edie everywhere. Also, she's hot. Ooh. Yeah. What do we got? Try it. Sure. Okay. What does modify mean? Oh. Oh. Shredder and high caliber barrel. Oh, look at that. Wow, we finally modified a weapon. Good job, everybody. Hey, to be fair. 30%? Y'all know I don't upgrade things, so the fact that we even encountered this at all? Pretty good. Pretty good. Hell yeah, look at us go! Edie has pistols. I'll give her some shit. I feel like I'm going to be taking her with me everywhere. Dope. I like to uncomplicate games. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Yep. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. That was gonna be such a throwback. Eden Prime also marked Saren's first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. I remember. I remember when they first invented chocolate. I always hated it. Sorry, if you don't understand SpongeBob references. Seems like more than just three years ago. Records indicate that you lost a squad mate on Eden Prime. Yeah, Corporal Jenkins. Jenkins! Does returning to the colony cause unpleasant memories? Gets me angry! Just one more reason to fight the Reapers. I hope the motivation is effective. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. These people have a rough focus on the artifact. We avenge the people of Eden Prime, but our first priority has to be whatever Cerberus is found. That is our number one priority. Understood. Any Give survivors are any what Cerberus found. Second. The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. Dude. Dude. This fucking shuttle has seen some shit. It's seen the water carrier, the aircraft carrier. It's seen... Geth attacks. Deserted. Come on, let's see if we can find the dig site. It's seen everything, bro. Oh my gosh, what a throwback. The, colony wants. the colonists rebuilt after Saren's attack. It is likely they will rebuild again after Cerberus is defeated. If they're alive. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. I can see it as a war zone. Eden Prime doesn't deserve this. Nobody does. Yikes. I'm not ready. Oh yes, someone... People, many people, have requested subtitles. I had it on casual?
I had it on casual? How is it still hard sometimes? When was it casual? Huh? Oh no. Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. Dr. Tassoni, have you ever encountered dinosaur fossils during your digs? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Uh, you were joking. <laughs> Jokes have specific structures. That was messing with you. <laughs> oh my god. We've taken more able-bodied men and women from pa uh, pacified neighborhoods. The colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a Cerberus research camp on the other side of the planet. And when we increase food rations as payment for the work, most of the complaints died out. Maintain the story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire col colony. And if these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there's no way they'd cooperate. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Yeah, I could. Give them some, uh, motivation. Jeez. There's the elevator that leads to the dig site. Good. Now we can find out what they've discovered. Uh-huh. Something tells me this isn't gonna go well. I was on casual? Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean? You believe mm. Cerberus has recovered the corpse of a Prothean unmodified by Reaper technology? Cerberus hasn't uncovered corpses. This Prothean is alive. What? That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. Oh. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Mm -hmm. By galactic community, you were suggesting that Protheans had a structure similar to the modern council. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. Yeah, the Protheans were the greatest. in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. That's why they were wiped out. Hello, Jinky. Sounds too friendly. What a rogue shepherd response. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. First, we get it open. Whatever he is, he's better with us than with Cerberus. Open yep. the pod. Crack it open like a nut. Of course. Ah, <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. Oh, gently. We also need gently. to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Crack it open like Cerberus a nut. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Oh, Liara, are you in your research? I'm gonna just toss that thing off the side of the are. cliff. Okay. Oh, this music is rad. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Nemesis. Ow. Ow. Jesus! I'm not in Kansas anymore. This is crazy. Go away. What the fuck is Nemesis? And that thing. Centurion, oh, we've seen these. What are you? Get your ass back here. Quit that. Alright, let's get moving before more of them come back. I haven't looted everything. Hold on. 
Wait a minute. Local resistance is heavy in the south and west sections of the colony. We've pulled most of the troops from the north neighborhoods to assist. All remaining troops in the north neighborhood continue standard patrol activities to maintain the illusion of a large presence in that area. If the locals knew we were understaffed, they could do some serious damage. Ooh. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. Nice. So they're not as well equipped as we thought. What's up here? Whoa! Who the heck? Combat engineer, oh, they're back! Gotten word from our source with an Eden Prime's resistance movement that we can expect an attack on our security center between 2200 and 2300 tomorrow night. They're pulling in forces from across the colony that gives us the perfect chance to destroy their leadership. Once the attack is contained, allow Dr. William Cambiata to escape, firing near miss shots to keep it realistic. He's given us good information with that. The locals will see him as a daring hero and the only man to escape the Cerberus trap. They might even put him in charge. They're playing them like a fiddle. Perfect. This intel will give Eden Prime's resistance movement a real chance to push Cerberus out of their colony. <laughs> Not the smartest move, but you know. Another one! Boop. Boop. What's up here? Eh, nothing. Okie dokie. Heck, I just got vaporized. Dope. Nemesis. In the elusive yeah. is a human. The Reaper weapon nicknamed Black Star is Nemesis. The Nemesis is a Cerberus Sniper Specialist. Customized implants allow the Nemesis to withstand the crippling kickback of the M98 Widow anti-material rifle, turning a redoubtable opponent into a force of capable of inflicting instant death. A suite of high-tech scanning equipment makes the Sniper adept at maintaining cover, meaning a Nemesis is usually spotted only after opening fire, assuming the target survives the first round. Because of self-destruction mechanisms that activate upon the Sniper's death, Alliance has never retrieved an example of Nemesis augmentation technology. This fact combined with Cerberus Force's penchant for suicide when faced with capture has made scientific study of their implants possible. Okay. Oops. Whoa, my fingers were on the wrong place, Vince. We're good. Thought I was playing League of Legends. Sorry, boys. Yeehaw! I thought that was a live person for a second. Hello? That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. This one? <clears throat> You're just here. Um. I don't think so. The way down? Huh. Did I break the game? Oh! Would you look at that? Oh. oh I see. Oh, shit.
Oh shit! No way you're gonna make me play How as many one. Have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life bots. Jesus. can duplicate that to open the life pod. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. But she's got the encryption! The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, the encryption? I saw the video and how they sealed the life pods. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. Hell yeah. Remaining pod data. Hello? Hello, Jinx. Nothing. 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 That load of nothing. What else we got? I'm guessing it wants you to backtrack, right? Because we know for sure there was no way forward. Oh, look at those greenhouses. Okay. I was not trying to be chaotic. I was actually trying to see if there was anything behind there. <gasps> Goodbye. I know you also just want my cookies. God damn it. Why can't you just love me? They all just, they just want my cookies. Oh shit. Whoa. Okay. That actually kind of jump scared me. Now that they're on normal, what's going to happen, bro? What the fuck? Turret. I'll charge you. I'm not scared. I'm not fucking scared. I'm not. I'm a little scared. I'm not scared. Whoa. Behind my... You stinky. Yeehaw. It's shotgun time. on casual difficulty? I should play on casual difficulty more often. That's so much fun for me. I can actually kill stuff. There. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. Yep. I'm not actually that bad. I feel like I don't need, like, baby mode. I feel like I'm good with normal, right? I'm normally playing on normal difficulty. Sometimes it takes me a little bit longer than other people, but also sometimes it doesn't. I'm like weirdly cracked at video games, but also not. Like sometimes I'll be playing, and then I just whip out and rip just, just these insane, nasty headshots. And then other times I run my horse off a mountain. So I don't know. It's kind of a mixed bag, honestly. 
What we got? Return to dark space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis pod. Jeez. God. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Yikes. Jesus. You understood that one too? Yeah. I've got the signal the Protheans used to activate stasis mode. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. I can only imagine how mind-blowing this was to everyone who's been waiting on this third iteration of the game ever since the beginning, like, getting to find out individually what all these races, like, looked like, sounded like, felt like, what the ambiance was, getting to actually relive, like, the memories through the eyes of Shepard was probably so, I mean, it's mind-boggling now, it's so cool to get to see it, but I can only imagine 12 years ago when this game came out, I know, sorry to make some of you feel old, who played it on release. But just the sheer... Like, fangirling, I guess? That must have went down. So fucking cool. Hey, fuck off. Ow. My body. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh my dicks. This is normal mode? What the fuck? Not you, bozo. The fucking turret's behind you. Whack job. Jesus. Oh my dicks. No time. Let's find another way across. What? What are we doing? I'm fighting. I don't know what you girls are doing. Find another way to the pod. Where is it? Oh man. Your bitch ass over here. Ah. Another turret. How? How? I was literally just here. Fuck off. Pardon my French. Sorry. Holy normal sure is a challenge. Oh man. All right, I'm running. Get me out of this. Prison. Can I go this way? Oh. Oh my god, stop. Rolling, you crazy psychopath. I'm going backwards. Oh god, I guess I have to go this way. Another turret? Is that what the fucking combat engineers do? Of course it is. Gee, Willikers, man. There we go. Oh my god. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. This isn't a military stronghold, it's somebody's home. It appears that Cerberus cares little for civilian casualties. 
Hmm, what's new? Poor dudes, man. We need to get this, them, them this intelligence fast. Ah, oh, brutal. Okay, not to be that guy, but I was literally... just here. Eh? No. No. Okay. Oh, I can just go on these rocks? Wow. How convenient. I was like... <laughs> doing this weird, super convoluted, like, scheme of maneuver. Like, huh, huh, I gotta clear all these buildings. I just needed to jump off a rock. What are the odds 72 random people show up? Eh? Come on. Let me have this. I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process There it is. It. Cerberus has heavy forces incoming. We'll need to hold this position. Fuck off. I'm charging. I'm fucking going. Drop ship? My butthole. Your mom's a drop ship. Ah. Ah. Oh, you're hiding? Oh, you're hiding, are you? Oh, another drop ship? Oh. That's cute. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna keep charging though. Ah. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Let's go. Oh? Come here. Hey, hey, hey. On the shelf where you belong! Second to catch our breath. Yay! We're set up preparations for the next wave. Oh. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? It should not be much longer. We should look for ways to hamper the enemy's approach. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. Sure, sounds great. Sounds made up, but okay, Liara, you do you boo. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> Maybe don't run at the heavy mech. No, or do. You know what? Fuck it. I ain't never... I ain't never messed up. We're so good. Ah! Charge the heavy mech, you say? Dicks. Fucking cover, you dingbat. Oh my god, I was doing so well. I didn't die. I don't think I've ever died in this game yet. I was also on... Casual mode. For babies. Oh my god. My god. I can only imagine how hard Leviathan must have been on normal. Can you fucking not... Go away. Go, go away. Go away. Stop it. Hello, Edie. What's up? 
Six more bullets. I need a minute. I practically did nothing. I need to run. Oh, okay. Conveniently after two waves of strong enemies. Oh, good. Good. Am I good? Are you sure? You want to throw another one at me? Oh, God. What's this guy gonna there, you've got do? Got us. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. He's gonna be like, sup. Oh my god! Oh! We have a Prothean! Be careful, he's confused. Me. The music. Hell yeah, dude. We got Bughead. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been a few minutes. No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardments. Get to your life. Oh, now. shit. That's when they came. Are there more like him? dead a few hundred people how am i to rebuild an empire from that further adjustments may be necessary the neutron purge compromised the facility clarify sensors are damaged automated reactivation is not an option oh shit in stasis until a new culture discovers this bunker this may lead to a power shortage do not shut off more pods i need the few that are left Oh no. You will be the voice of our people. Oh shit. I will be more than that. Oh shit. Who's his voice actor? How many others? Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? So fucking cool. Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. It wasn't a failure. I mean, they all died. It wasn't their fault, but I mean, I wouldn't call it a dub. I need your help. Let's avoid the topic. I saw what happened to your people. I know you must be grieving. They died 50,000 years ago. My people are dying right now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Oh, Jesus. Asari. Human. Synthetic. 
This is not a good beginning. Huh? It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. Yeah. <laughs> Homie doesn't know that gesture. Home dog doesn't even have hands, probably. A living Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. This is wild. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. I don't know. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. They're people who are very smart, cultured, technologically advanced, so he's bound to have something. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. Bound to have something for us. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. Assume hostility? I'm the fucking commander. Not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. We can trust him. He's fine. I don't think our guest will be a problem. It's been 50,000 years. What's he gonna do? What's he been doing? Scheming? While he's been asleep? Will he? That depends on you. Whoa, Papa. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. Jesus. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Kind of like what happened with Earth. Like your beacons. Yes. Which... Liara must be fucking fangirling right now. I found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heated? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? <laughs> Good question. It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warning. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could. Oh, we sorry. Used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. You talking JPEGs? My bad. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. No. Device. The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. I know, we just said we're gonna finish it, buddy. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst. We got it. No. Aw. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art. Killing. It's most people on this what boat. Your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? Strength? The embodiment of vengeance. Oh. I am the anger of a dead people, demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. That's extreme. I agree. Who doesn't dislike the Reapers at this point? If you're just like hanging out and you're like, eh, 
Yeah, the Reapers haven't done anything to me. They're fine. They're gonna come after you next, buddy boy. You're next on their roster. I agree. Fuck them. Then I'd say you found an ally. The goal of this ship is to wipe the Reapers from existence. Goddamn right. But how far are you willing to go to achieve that goal? Not very far. I don't want any casualties. On the Normandy. I do not believe you, Commander. Lying is a biological marker. There is doubt behind your words. Oh. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. A it little is a memory shard. Dun. Could it help us with the device? Dun. The music. No. It contains only pain. Aww. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die Bing. will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. Hell yeah. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Aww. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? <laughs> I have a lot of questions. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people. Imparting experience through touch. The chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very Convenient, useful. literally, that's what we I was about to say. As hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. Beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. That has gift transfer. Stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Oh. Things like Reaper invasions. Flash drives for memories. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. Yeah. So, could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation, the DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. Grunt! Impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Huh. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. Liara? What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have? And can you tell me about your religious beliefs or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, history has been a lifelong passion of <laughs> Oh my when god. I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. Just choked on the spit. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. Jesus, that's so dark. Sorry, natural selection. <laughs> trying to get me. Before that, what was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. Mm. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Sure. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. There was just a hegemony. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. Much like... We've had the same problem. Yep. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Crazy. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Fascinating. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago in ways we could never imagine. Oh, that's so interesting. Damn. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. 
So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Yeah. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, oh. betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. It's like foreshadowing into what the Reapers are trying to do here. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. Choice. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you, I think. <laughs> Not anymore, human reaper. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Mm. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. Yeah, no kidding. Hmm. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Yeah. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. Ah. They gave us fragments of what happened. Yeah. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Mm. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. Yeah. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. Man. This is such a deep conversation. So rich. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by yeah, city. Yeah, persistence. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. Oh, that must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated. Converted, uh. then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. <sighs> so then, I mean, did they just not, were they not able to keep up? Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. Mm. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. That is the problem. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Yeah. That is the benefit of having, like, individual minds and... Just like individual thoughts. That sounds like a very basic statement, but having like a single minded mentality for an entire group of people is just like not conducive to growth and independence. And there's, there's just no room for expansion when you are set in one, a one track mind. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Proven through history. Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. Mm. There were memory shards, however, passed down oh. from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Is there? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire... Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of... This has been amusing. Mo. 
To discover the most oh. primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Solarians. The lizard people evolved. <laughs> they're amphibian. That's what I called them. They used to eat flies. <laughs> Commander, <laughs> you may count on me. I am known as Javik. <laughs> and welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. Javik. Javik is a fucking G, dude. Wow. Now he's in this like humidified room. Wow. That's awesome. What an insightful conversation. The lizard people evolved? They used to eat flies. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. All right. We have a new friend. I was honestly just expecting to get the exact same crew back. And I'm glad that they switched it up. There's a new message at your private terminal. But I also miss the old crew. And an alert. New article on Eden Prime. Alliance News Network information partners. Alliance officials confirm a local resident's movement and have su successfully pushed Cerberus forces off Eden Prime. Cerberus attacked Eden Prime for reasons that remain unclear and set up facilities to occupy the colony. But after constant attacks from an united populace, Cerberus troops retreated. Alliance officials are sending in evacuation transports now to get colonists off world before Reaper's forces Reaper forces reach the colony. We owe this victory to the Alliance, resistance leader Edward Crabb said in a prepared statement. The people of Eden Prime have always been ready to fight, but Alliance Intel gave us the tools we needed to push those Cerberus bastards off our planet. Many resistance fighters have said they plan to enlist to support the Alliance. Wow! Actions have consequences. That's very cool. Glad we were able to help. Those poor colonists on Eden Prime. First the Geth attack. It's always EP, Cerberus. man. For what it's worth, our new crew member doesn't need a translator himself, but he shared a Prothean language tutorial program. It's like learning Latin. Designed for servant races being inducted into the Empire. <laughs> Charming cultural clue. <gasps> nice pickup. Trainer. I forgot her name. Uh, it's like Latin. Everyone's dead and no one uses it, but you know, you can still learn it anyways. Oh. Too soon. Yeah, Latin's useful. It's in like a lot of words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a joke. I don't need the Latin apologists to come in here and preach why Latin is the most important language. A real live Prothean. Has Liara stopped bouncing yet? I'm guessing there may have been some bouncing. <laughs> How's our new visitor adjusting to the ship, Edie? He appears not to understand the human custom of separate sex restroom facilities. I am attempting to enlighten him. I will update you if there is positive progress. Um, how about you just update me if he doesn't get the message? Very well. If there's progress. <laughs> nice. A bathroom is just a bathroom to go in. Who cares? Good question. How progressive of them. Who have I not spoken to? Liara. That's who I care most about in this situation. Maybe I do still have feelings for Liara. I don't know, man. I'm overthinking this. She's just like so. There's new information on the private messages. Bonded. Terminal. Prothean notes, 2186, entry one. I think this Prothean must have seen. If they had the technology to preserve someone for over 50,000 years, no wonder they were capable of building things like the device on Mars. I must give him time to get his bearings, but goddess. When will we get another chance to learn so much about their civilization? Attached notes on Prothean. A Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. Lizard people? I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean, Shepard. There's so much he could tell us. Aww. I mean, she's right. I'm joking about her being overstimulated by this, but like, genuinely, it is such an important discovery. We've been waiting for this moment the entirety of the series, essentially. When I am telling you guys, like, the, the feeling you guys must have felt, or whoever was playing this at the moment, 
and they got to actually meet a Prothean in the flesh, I'm pretty sure everyone had the exact same excitement levels, basically, as Liara. Like, no fucking way they actually kept a Prothean alive. What a twist. It's almost like a deus ex machina. He's, uh, but it's not quite divine intervention because he doesn't have the answers because he's still lost. So, I don't know. I've seen a lot of crazy things in my time on the Normandy, Shepard. A talking Reaper, a talking plant, and now a real live talking Prothean. Hell of a thing. Waking up to find everything you know is destroyed. But I imagine the chance to get some payback is consolation. Doubt you and I will ever get a second chance against the Reapers. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, he's got a good point as well. This guy survived after 50,000 years incubated. And he actually has a chance to make a difference. Maybe not with his whole team or what he envisioned it to look like, but... Man, that's insane. Okay. Book of Plenix. Irune. I got the Pillars of Strength. I need the Irune Book of Plenix. His son? Benning? Ismar Frontier. Apian Crest. Priority. Oh, we're not doing that one. Okay. Let's see. Um, I think these guys do seem to be moving around, unless I'm tripping. Ismar, Apian Crest, Ismar. We need a book from there, and then we're gonna go to the Crest. I'm also sitting crisscross applesauce, so pardon me if I'm like just slouching. I'm sitting like a shrimp right now because I'm so comfy. Mama. Look at that, Fuel Depot, God bless. Super Earth. I'm trying to have like a fine balance between the peony, the peony bombardini, um, like main, main, seemingly main quests, like longer quests, such as recovering the Prothean, and uh, little side things. I feel like it restores a good balance. I'm obviously not going to get to every single little side quest because I would be playing this game for three years. Or six months. <laughs> Red Dead. But. I'm obviously going to give this game the time it deserves. I pretty much like my basic philosophy with games is just like. I don't see anything, dude. Am I? Tripping? Whatever, I don't know. AP and Crest, let's go there. I play them until I'm satisfied, personally. And honestly, that's good enough for me. That's what I care about. Like, not everyone's gonna be a hundred percenter. Not everyone's gonna be a completionist or a bare minimalist where we just do main story quests. I just like giving games my honest time, my honest thoughts, and then moving on. You know? What the fuck? That's a big... Whoa. Hee 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 hee. Hee 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 hee. Just wanna piss him off. Oh! 
Is it here? Wreckage. Fuel depot. <gasps> Yay! Fuel! We're always lacking in fuel, bro. I swear. Why are y'all so alert? Chillax, buddy. Chillax! Jeez. Her borgs. Hmm. I'm about to get attacked. Jesus, God, that's so fucking loud. Oh my God. Get me out! Reapers eluded. Jesus. I'm looking for something, right? I'm not tripping, right? This totally came up in my journal, right? I read this name out. I'm sure people were in the comments when I read them, you know, back. Oh, wow, tiny. Uh, in the future, people will be like, wow, if you actually read the description of every single planet. Where I would love to people, please. And I have done a lot of planet reading in my Mass Effect days. And be like, yeah, I totally care about the hydrogen, nitrogen state of this kryptonic planet that used to house caterpillars I don't give a fuck I understand this sounds mean I understand the developers put a lot of work into this game and I'm really glad it's this fleshed out for the people that want to sit here reading all the descriptions but I'm not gonna sit here and pretend <laughs> I sound so hostile it's just not my cup of tea bro it's really not I love the lore I love finding out more about like new enemies and like species and I love sitting down and having a good codex and chill which we haven't done this game yet and I'm due for to catch up on all the lore that we've missed so far and I like I like that but like fucking planets you want me to read all about, about all the flora and fauna and Red Dead Redemption this is a squirrel you can hunt them in North American woodlands sometimes they go to the river and drink water squirrel Not for me, dog. All right, I was just here and we got attacked. Ah! Faster than light jump successful. I'm so sorry. Oh my God, my cats aren't in here. I thought I would have given them a heart attack. <sighs> That's what I get for being mean. Have I checked this one yet? Jesus. H. Christ. <sighs> Alright. Uh, something tells me we just really don't have luck with that right now. I also... Let's just leave. I might have just, like, not gotten there yet in the story. What does this meet with the diplomat's mission? I'm kind of feeling good about where we're at with the side quest. We've been doing a lot of... Peito. Little things. Carbonaceous dude. If I can't pronounce the word... <laughs> Alright, is this where we're gonna convince the Quogans? Diplomatic ships of the Solarians, Turians, and Krogan float far away from one another, out of weapon range. Messages sent by each faction indicate that they would welcome the Normandy as a neutral meeting ground for their diplomats. The fact that they have not agreed on a ship to serve as a neutral meeting point before now does not bode well for the negotiations. Fuck it. 
The Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. Am I about to see Morden? And hope this doesn't start another war. And Grunt or Rex? The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard varin. You unleash whenever you're in trouble. Hello. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. We really don't have time. I'll People are tell dying. You what I need. A cure for the genophage. <gasps> I saved it. From the Salarian scientist. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Dalatras looks like that bitch from sorry, that chick. That was angry. Uh Lilo and Stitch. Pause. Opposed to the idea, Dalatras. Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. It's Dalatras! You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. Apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Mm. You had to do it at the time, but that's not all they're good for. I've sided against Rex before, though, and it didn't go well. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise An that Emmy Krogan won. revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make The today. Reapers are gonna kill everybody. No good can come from curing the genophage. No good can come from the fucking Reapers. Are you kidding me? You fucking Lilo and Stitch ground ground Grand Council woman. We don't have a choice. Dude, you're really focused on this genophage thing. I mean, it's not just a thing. It's an entire, like, wiping of a species. Still... Whether you like it or not, we need Krogan help to win this war. Yeah. And what happens when the war is over? We'll find a new way to keep Deal peace. with it. Get over it. And Figure it out. break it. Enough. This is all theoretical. It would take years to formulate a cure. There's no time. I have one. My information says otherwise. From last game. A Salarian scientist Malin grew a conscience. He was on my planet. Testing a cure on our female. Oh, shit. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. Oh, shit. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Oh, shit. Dalatras, is this true? Well, will curing the genophage benefit my people? You need allies. What are you going to do? Get your lizard people and fight the reapers? Yeah, good luck, buddy. Go eat flies. How long do you think you'll last alone against the reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. That's what I'm saying. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. That's what I'm saying. What's it going to be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkesh. The truth comes but out. I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers. Literally, what I've been saying. Let's get the females. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Specter, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. Yep. I can see her point. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. I get it. 
I get it, but like, dude, when you're being non-cooperative... We need a Turian. I feel like Liara is going to have some interesting insight with, like, the cure and being a scientist and such. But so will Edie. Let's take Liara. I feel like she'd like to see this. She'd have interesting input. Does Gewis have any... Mods? Okay. Hmm. 50%. Thermal clip capacity. Damage. Yeah, we're gonna do the barrel extension. Hell yeah. Recoil system. There we go, power magnifier. This doesn't need to be crazy, but power magnifiers will do. We're good. I'm ready. I'm ready. So pretty. This is the Solarian home world we're headed to. They aren't used to Oh my gosh, I'm fangirl. We haven't seen this. Simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. <sighs> I don't think we've been here, right? Be friendly. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. Is our first time seeing it? These females are the best and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. Aww. <clears throat> I suppose I can make room for you too, Gareth. The old gang. <laughs> I made the right choice Figured here. you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. <laughs> Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. That was gonna be dope. Set her down. Wow. What a vibe. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dalatras authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan Oh my god, what's he gonna do? Fly out of the sky? Rex! Oh my god. Your knees, bro, you're getting old. We have an unauthorized landing. Oh my god. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? Jesus, the lizards are mad. Halt! Stand down! Hold your fire! Commander Shepard, restrain your colleague. We only found out about this transfer a few moments ago. We can work I'd this like out. To avoid a diplomatic incident. Jesus. As would we. But you have something valuable to Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. <laughs> And I'm tempted to be like, or else? Okay, stay here. I can handle this, Rex. <clears throat> Anything goes wrong and all bets are off. They're not unreasonable people. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. <laughs> Careful! Watch the containment shield! I'd hope to never see one of those again. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. Hmm? What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, <laughs> is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. 
Were they? They were brought here to stabilize their condition. Were they? This whole planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Attention biolabs. Please prepare for yard specimen arrival. We need to clean the females up. Make them look like you haven't been torturing them since they got there. Please don't touch that. Oops. I won't touch everything. As I said, Commander, don't touch that. I need to f find stuff. This is so cool. Over in Intel told me the Turians can't hold out much longer. He's hearing the Reapers have them against the wall. The Turians have the biggest fleet in the galaxy. And we're only a few Mass Effect relays away from the whole mess. Yeah. Another you have clearance now to see the females, Commander. Oh, oops. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the genophage will bring closure to this issue. Yeah. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. Yep. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. Good for you, Paddock. Thanks for your time. Of course. Proceed into the elevator when you're ready. It's not for one species to decide over another, it's just... Nature. Agree with them or not, all of this is clear. Ensure the smooth handover of the Krogan detainees. Who gave the order? Our superiors. That's all that matters. But they're gonna cure the genophage. Everything we've done to stop the Krogan will be for nothing. When I want your opinion, I'll promote you. Until then, stay sharp and keep your mouth shut. Yikes. This is a restricted area. Oh. Stay back. The fuck are they doing? Restricted? Y'all got secrets? I don't like what I'm hearing. What? There was an outbound com traffic 20 minutes ago from inside the base. And? A burst transmission fully encoded. No identity signature. No signature? That's against protocol. I know. Someone's passing a message. That's whack. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh no. Are they about to get attacked? This is beautiful. I'm so glad we got to see this. I wonder if we're gonna get to see, like, the quarry and homeworld. And some of the other ones. We got to see the Krogan one, although it was under attack. We've gotten to see the... The Turian and... The Turian and the Krogan. Never thought I'd see the day. I can't believe they brought the females here. I was on the team that got them off to Chanka. What was it like there? A wasteland. The Krogan are animals living in their own radioactive planet. The mm. genophage didn't go far enough. 99% infertility is still 1% too many Krogan around. Oh my god. I punched this guy. Jesus. What the fuck? Insane. Now take this elevator down and someone will... Oh my god. They're gonna get attacked. You needed the... Why were they under What's a genophage? Happening? I mean, I know, but like... You need all the health you can get, dude. Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. I feel so bad. The Krogan have been, like, fucked. They need all the strength they can get for this Reaper invasion. All specimens are accounted for, sir. They need to work together. Shepard, excellent timing. Good to have you here. Morden! Morden? Eyesight's still sharp. Surprise, understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. You're back with STG. Special consultant. Had to be me. <sighs> Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Good old Morden. Helped female Krogan. Fed information to Clan Erdnot. Encouraged political pressure to free females. <gasps> nice. Rex's inside source. Yes, can explain later. Security <sighs> warnings not normal. Need to get off world for sake of Krogan. Good. Females had weakened immune systems. Side effect of Malin's cure. But you fixed it? These didn't survive. Aww. But what about Malin's research? I thought we saved it. Indeed, data saved, but not complete. Lacks crucial details to reconstruct cure, but still useful for synthesizing from living tissue. Couldn't save them. 
I'm sure you did everything you could, Morton. Arrived too late. Cannot delay now. One survivor, immune to genophage, can synthesize cure from her tissue. Oh shit. She's still here. Yes, last hope for Krogan. If she dies, genophage cure... Problematic. Oh no. Please be careful. Krogan slow to trust. Oh my god. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? Goddess, what she's been through. Erdnot Rex and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? Have the Salarians been mistreating you? Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. Did the best we could. And now I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? Why are you here? I need a bargaining chip. You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. Oh my god. I hope you brought an army. Oh no! I can't handle okay. another attack! Okay, communications have been severed. We're cut off. The turret! Salarians! And Earth! We have multiple ships inbound. Oh, it's Cerberus! Fuck those guys! Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. <laughs> what? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimens. <laughs> Objection noted. <laughs> now, please release Krogan. Morden! Need to monitor pod as it clears quarantine procedures. Meet us at next checkpoint, Shepard. Naughty like dog. Is cure. Oh, shit. You'll see Tachanka again, I promise. Get your elevator, Shepard. Come on. Cerberus, dude. Assholes. Wrong with the elevator. It's not responding. There. Try it now, Commander. Log, Morton Syllabus, 162.3. Used STG ties to secure station here. Gained autonomy in caring for Krogan test subjects. Females were obviously dying. Barbaric experiments. Try the elevator, tools. Commander. Our responsibility to fix. Need to save them. No more. No more dead. I know. I know, I know, I know. There's a lot going on, but I need to... Make sure I didn't miss any data. Put all research subjects into immediate lockdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch us secure. Yard subjects. We have a problem. Oh no. Security overrides are responding. Oh no. Oh no, this is about to get hairy. Oh my god. Get back! Are you alright? Is there another way out of here? Through this conveniently placed back door. Shepard, Cerberus forces trying to locate female. Fuck. Quarantine checkpoint under attack. Hurry. We're going. I took the shuttle. Do whatever it takes to get the female up to the landing pad. Okay. Taking enemy fire. Come here, bozo. I'm sure there will be more. Let's fucking go. More incoming. Don't let them take cover in the lab. Obviously, they've never had to fight a yacht face to face. See ya. Female isn't going to last long against this sort of biopower. Shepard, Cerberus in vicinity. Hurry, we're on our way. I'm trying. 
go, let's go, let's go. What? Careful. There goes the next shadow broker. <laughs> Could have sworn he was muttering to Sony the whole time. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I was wondering why that looked familiar. Oh yeah, I kick their bug asses. Shepard, meet us at next checkpoint. Server is likely to target. Shit, Morden! Hurry, next checkpoint. Come on. Fucking stop rolling, you idiot! For one second, can you just stop rolling for a single second in your goddamn life? What are we doing? Am I jumping off a building? Oh, basically. I'm going, I'm going. Come here. Come here. Hell yeah. Die, bitch. That did it. Hell yeah. Cerberus isn't fooling around. They're capable of anything. It's God. just hard to understand. Can't believe they became the main antagonists. Oh my god, the turrets! Try to flank them, eh? We have to take out those turrets. Damn, we got the Solaria. I think we got them all. Oh. Morden was right. Cerberus must have been tipped off. They got here too fast. Every war has its traitors. I definitely just speed ran this. Already on it. Hell no. Her integrity! Dude, fucking come on. Come on. 
Oh. Oh my god. Come on. Excellent. Can clear us. Wait. Another server squad. Oh my god. Floating. Die, bitch. Still waiting. Rex can't keep his hands off a fertile female. He'll be there. He really I'll see you up top. is a thirsty boy. He keeps talking about needing a female. He almost killed people in this base to get a fertile female. Like he like showed up and was about to throw hands. Obviously, like it's about the survival of his species as well. However. Oh my dicks. I just ran straight into whatever the fuck this is. Can we not? I don't know where I'm going. I think I just speed ran this again. You guys remember when I was playing The Last of Us and I just ran through this entire area? There was like an entire area that I just ran through. Can you just crouch, baby girl? Just on accident. Where am I going? You're good, Liara. You mean you don't like speedrunning through this entire area and dying? Hell yeah, here we go, baby. Let's go. Shepard, you must authorize release. I'm like sweating, but I'm also All cold. To loading area. Let's get out of there. Pure adrenaline running through my veins right now. Oh shit. Animation? What is this? Fucking garbage disposal on legs? A creature in a creature? Is that the brother from Full Metal Alchemist? In a garbage disposal? What the fuck? Shepard, I can't land until you deal with that thing. It's Dosa. dangerous. Kogan has been acquired. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Alright, I'm gonna run into it. I'm literally gonna throw myself at it. Alright, maybe we can crouch. Exactly mellowed with age, has he? Dope. Dope. We did it. Oh, it's still got a health layer. Fuck me. 
Jesus, I was doing so well, no! I thought we had it, I thought the armor was the last one. I totally forgot that it still had a health layer. I shouldn't have charged in there like a freak. So much to the hit like there. We got this this time. I get it, 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 ow. My body! Run. Run. Duck! Liara, no! You goofy goober. Got it! Can I just crouch? a single goddamn day in your life, Shepard. Come on, what are we doing, Shep? We did it! <gasps> we did it? I wasn't even looking at the health bars. Yay! Yay! I wasn't even looking. I was literally just like in panic mode. Oh, normal sure is hard. you out of there what a gentleman is this his new queen oh my god <laughs> I can handle myself Rex women in her little slippers We what? My server is here. What do you want? <laughs> we what? How lame. What? You can't just die on me. What the frick? World shaker. Achievement Commander, earned. Commander, I'm hearing chatter. You're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. Sure am. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. They're bitches. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. <laughs> we'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. Nice. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. Nice. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. The Protheans, man. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good. Hack it out. No. <sighs> Do we get to see a sneak peek? 
Oh my god, we're doing it. We're building the Death Star. Oh shit. Maybe we actually will stand a chance. And before there's a Mass Effect 4. You have the female, Rex. A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the deal. What am I gonna do? Wait every Palavin needs your reinforcements now. Few months to play. birth a baby from the Unless same female? Every Krogan gets the cure. There's no alliance. Morden, how long will it take to finish a cure? Need to synthesize base antigen from female. Also requires healthy male Krogan tissue. We'll need a sample. You're looking at it. Yeah, you got Acceptable. one right there. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. <laughs> uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. <laughs> we have no chef. He died. Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morden. Can you do it? Of course. Similar to <laughs> Genophage Modification Project. If anyone can do it, it's Working Morden. Working against alterations this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust our transmitter levels. Got it. We'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. Do what you can, Morden. Then get started, Morden, and make it quick. Always do. We'll be in medbay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. Eve? Eve? Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. <laughs> Suggest speaking with her. New perspective. <laughs> Surprising in Krogan. Oh, and Rex is our Adam. Oh God, what a universe! Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. Oh no! What happened? I'd rather discuss it in private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. <laughs> what is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss somewhere else. Oh my god. You both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. Nerds. Nice segue for the rest of the story. Hell yeah. Turians. Krogan's missing. Hell yeah. I mean... Commander, we've got new reports of Cerberus activity on Tachanka. I've marked it on the galaxy. Oh no. On Tachanka too? Uh, where's Eve? Medical? Maybe? If there's anything I do before I get off... Of the game. Aware Krogan females find this. scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. <laughs> ah, Shepard. We were just. Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful or put any faith in Solarian. Ah, doctors. yes. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. He's trustworthy, Rex. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into That's a trap. That's a good trap. point. Trap. Eve's release my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. Including you. <laughs> you got a quad, doctor. Keep her safe. You got a quad, Our doc. females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. Ew. Common phobia. Fear of needles. Or Solarian doctors. <laughs> now have work to do. 
prefer females of the species. <laughs> Morden's just one of the girls. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Good point. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female class. Oh. I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. Hmm. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the Genophage has made us very wise. Powerful. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How are you going to become a shaman? How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. Huh. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to oh, sustain no. me. What happened? That blows. I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. Yeah, that's true. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't <laughs> tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> he's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see <laughs> he's it. He's not trying way. to sire half of Tachanka. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Mm. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And that, you can tell him. <laughs> Do you think Rex will want revenge for the genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Yeah. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. Hmm. That's tough. Such a heavy burden. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. Oh. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. Jesus. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future. Like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. <laughs> Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence. Excuses to earn them honor. Jeez, dude. I want to play a silly space game with some decisions. Stillborns and genophage and... God. How did you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. <laughs> it's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Was it worth it? Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. 
she definitely has been through a lot and can provide a lot of insight and perspective on a lot of things. Crystal, light, hope. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tuchanka. The children of Tuchanka! Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. Oh my god! Oh! I found Malon's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. Her spirit. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. <sighs> How's Morden been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Salarian. <laughs> he is our special no, no, boy. No. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. <laughs> I sense pain in him too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry Borgia offspring have an allergy to dairy and a <laughs> Well, it wasn't his ear. Aww. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I'm glad to see humans treat their women with respect. Your people have placed a lot of responsibility on you. No more than your people have put on you. <laughs> then maybe we can show the men how it's done. Aww. Deal. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. I was not expecting to go into today's episode and come out on this end of it. Honestly, I was just ex expecting to go in, do some silly little things and recover some artifacts and whatever, whatever else we had in store. But the missions that I happened to select today were just, they've just left me speechless. I don't, I don't really, I, I'm trying to like formulate my thoughts on the fly um, I normally sit and like think about these episodes for a few days um, after I record them and just really process everything that's happened. But like, dude, getting to actually meet a Prothean in the flesh and firsthand witness and someone who has like lived through the experiences and been there during the actual assault from the Reapers and survived it 50,000 years later just by happenstance, basically, out of all of his other compatriots. And then him being on our team and getting some, even though, like, I laughed at the whole lizard thing, but, like, getting his perspective on how things were 50,000 years ago, the humans, the Asari, everyone was still around, but they, it was just such a different time then, and how advanced civilization was comparatively. And, like, finding out that we're actually building the weapon, the weapon of mass destruction based off of their schematics, and their blueprints, and then going forth and doing the priority missions. I've been holding off because I wanted to like fully make sure that I took my time and explored uh, what I wanted to explore before pro pressing with the main quest. And I'm really glad that I did because that just hit extra. That just hit extra hard. Like the you know, seeing the Salarian homeworld was just so beautiful, and it's actually exactly constructed and calculated, but also mystical and a little bit overgrown as expected, honestly, for them. A moist environment that has been structurally calculated. Um, and then the ending the genophage and finding Eve, and hopefully that works. Like, in that last conversation, honestly, I'm really glad I included it in this episode and didn't hold off until the next one um, because everything that she said was just so impactful. And... I feel like I actually got to meet some celebrities, which is weird because none of these things are real, but I kind of geeked out, honestly, meeting a Prothean and the, the female fertile Krogan in one episode. I just, I got chills. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all for joining me on today's episode. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the rest of the game holds because it's been 
I'm not going to say not what I expected because I didn't really expect anything. I don't really like have any pre-thoughts before I jump into a game because I don't want to like accidentally spoil myself just by thinking too hard or being completely wrong. I just go into it completely neutral minded, head empty, no thoughts. And it has just been incredible. So thank y'all. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.